Hi everyone, welcome to Structurepedia. Uh, so I have uh, going to discuss today beam cable problem that uh, this problem has been shared by Structi on the quiz section. So uh, here we, uh, we, we have the problem and I'm going to share the details what what has been given in the problem and what are the other details that we need to find out to solve it so we have a steel beam uh, that the length is 10 meters and we have a cable that has been fixed to the midpoint of that beam which uh, the length of the cable is 5 meter and we have they have they've given the area of cable and the section property of the beam section that is a uh, second moment of area so we got this we got area of cable we got second moment of area that is this and we got this beam length other thing is we need uh we we need young modulus of the material they have used they have specified they have used steel for both that is cable and this beam and uh, the other thing is the loading has been applied on the beam which is 5 km per meter and we need to find force in the cable so uh, the problem that uh, th this problem we need to solve uh, using deflection uh, compatibility equation before that we need to draw FPT diagram for each structural element so uh, I have break that entire structural form into two separate structure that is one is cable and the other beam so I'm assuming that um, let's say force in the cable is P so this force in cable will act downward because if we have cable the one thing that we need to ensure that it should have tension because if we have compression force in that cable the cable will not have any forces it will actually loosen up so we have tension forces in the cable and because of this tension forces which will act downwards and to maintain the force equil equilibrium um, there would be the upward P force which is acting at the midpoint of the beam okay so now beam have two forces one is P which is acting upward at the midpoint the other thing is unit load that is 5 km per meter which is on all over the span which is acting downwards right um, okay now other thing is that uh, move, before we move to the deflection compatibility the entire structure we need to remember two formulas um, that you can find in any structural book or uh, in a, a structural pocket book uh, one is you have a point load that is acting at the midpoint of the beam the deflection is pl cube over 48 ai other one is the unit load that is applied on the entire beam which is the 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 deflection is 5w l4 by 384 ai this this two values you need to remember and there are many more that uh, you can keep it either you can keep it handy or it's better to ha always have those values in your mind so now just just considering the beam we can break that beam into two parts that is beam only with unit load that is w acting and the other part is point load which is uh, which uh, this beam got from cable uh, which will act upwards so if we see two deflections 
that is delta 1 that is because of w acting downwards and that other one is delta 2 which is acting uh, which is due to the point load p so we got delta 1 we got delta 2 and uh, there would be one more deflection because cable is a member and whenever we there's a forces in a member there there is always a deformation so in the cable we have the actual deformation that would be pl over ae which is this and uh, this will act downwards because as i have shared before that cable always behave like acting member when it has tensile forces so okay now uh, first thing is a sign convention that we have to consider that i'm considering downward direction as positive so uh, and uh, says this load is acting downwards so the beam will deflect downwards so delta one would be positive okay uh, the second thing is delta two because uh, the load is in upward direction that it will deflect in upward direction the delta two would be in upward direction so we need to place negative sign in front of it other thing is delta c delta c is uh, delta c is acting downwards because if you see this cable and we have force p so it will elongate in the downward downward direction that is delta c okay now to maintain bridge uh, so to maintain bridge in a state where we have no deflection at that point so what we need to ensure that the all sum of total deflection should be zero then only this point will not move either for either downward so this we have done and um, so we have assumed l is 5 meters because this is 5 meters say this is l so this is l this is l this is l then beam length would be 2l so here we have 2l it's 2l and uh, this is the formula as i've shared before and you can also find in a book and just keep keep them always handy other uh, one is the here also 2l uh, this is actual pl over a because e is common for all the members so we can cancel it out on solving this we can uh, we can get the p value as 10.7 kN. that means to keep this point uh, with zero deflection you the cable should have 10.7 kN force uh, and uh, there is a very vast application of this problem that is you if you if you get you if you understood this method and you can you are very much uh, capable of uh, solving this kind of problem you you have a very um, uh, very much benefit in solving bridge structure such as cable state bridge or suspension bridge because uh, if you see if you have seen um, cable state problems in that case you have a pylon and from this pylon you have a lot of cables coming downwards through the bridge deck so if you can ensure all these points uh, to have uh, zero deflection you can calculate the forces in the cable and also this is for the detailed design purpose uh, i will come to this later on as a separate video on the cable straight bridge how to design out to the preliminary design and how to you know detail design of that structure uh, i will come to that later on so for now um the other thing is uh so structural behavior cause we 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 are going to cover a lot of problems in uh, coming videos that would be very much beneficial for the exam we as uh, you might not aware of i structure they, uh, they have a 
structural behavior examination which is uh, very much beneficial for your startership as well as you can get a designation or GS Rakti. So if you this exam when you solve the quiz get expertise first in that and after that you give your exam uh, I think it's 75 pounds I don't know when I gave that exam it was 75 pounds so uh, after that you you if you have the graduate membership in that with I struck T then you can get a designation of G I struck T which also this exam proves your that you have a sound understanding of structures because if you see it if you see their problems they they are all practical based that those problem analysis you can apply in real structures so this you can prove that and after that you can just um, use it as one of the attribute in your daughtership so this is a very good part just follow my videos and i'm going to add um, i have prepared this uh, separate uh, clip and more uh, with the proper ex explanation of uh, the entire problem i try to cover all the points still you want something to add on just um, let me know in the comment section and also please uh, share your your views on what are the videos you 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 would like um, to have from my site and or any other specific topic that related to civil engineering or structural engineering that you would like to discuss and uh, you want me to share uh, in the youtube section that's all for today and i will share this um i will share the link of this uh, prop solution maybe yeah next week or uh, coming few days um that's it thank you thank you very much